Hello everybody and welcome back to Teachers Talk Money, where I help teachers master their money in order to give back to themselves. Today we're going to take a look at my budget for February 2022. I just wanted to say quickly, last month's budget video I mentioned that I'd be getting a raise soon and that raise will be happening in my first paycheck in February. This raise is due to me switching lanes in the salary scale. I earned my master's equivalence plus 30 credits. So that will go into effect in my first paycheck. However, I don't know what the actual numbers are going to amount to. So unfortunately, we're going to be budgeting with the numbers that you've been used to seeing for the past couple of months. Also, teachers in my district are getting a 1.5% cost of living adjustment. So that will impact what I take home in my paycheck as well. Anyway, I wish I had those actual numbers for you today, but you'll just have to hang tight until my March budget. Without further ado, let's take a look over my shoulder at my February 2022 budget update. All right, so here we are in my budget for February 2022. As you can see, I have the same standard income in here that I have been including uh, for the past couple of months since starting work but these numbers will actually be different than what's reflected because of the raises that I discussed before we got into the spreadsheet. So starting with my fixed expenses, everything is the same as it has been for the past few months. I have $920 set aside for my March rent, $85 for car and renter's insurance, $45 for my phone bill, and then $6 for recurring subscriptions. I have two check boxes next to rent and my phone bill because those are the ones I actively have to pay, whereas the other things are just taken straight from my accounts. Then my variable costs are here. I have groceries and dining set at 220 still. Interestingly, in January, I don't know if I'm going to get to those amounts for both of those categories. So it might be something that I can lower slightly in the future and maybe allocate that other money towards different kinds of spending or towards savings. I have $50 set aside for gas. I've really only had to fill up my tank once a month for the past couple of months. So that is more than enough to do that, plus a little bit of wiggle room. 115 for utilities, which has been sufficient so far, and $134 for anything else I might need to purchase throughout the month. For these variable costs, as most of you know, I total these up over on this column. Oh, and I can see that when I copied over this budget, I had some of the numbers left over. But as you can see, as I add in things um, in these columns, they add up below as well. And also over here in this column to show me if I'm uh, reaching my total spending in that category. But for now, I will reset those. I only have these sort of like trackers for um, my variable costs because those are, what are the ones that change month to month, whereas my fixed costs remain exactly the same. So I don't really need to track anything, just whether or not I've actually paid the things I need to pay. Which takes me to my savings. Again, it's pretty bare minimum right now. $80 towards gifts. That is up 20 from last year. I just want a little bit more wiggle room to be able to be a little bit more generous with my gifts. 100 towards travel. I have some upcoming trips in February. I'm taking a cabin weekend with some girlfriends and I may be traveling over spring break this year as well. So I have some things I'm working towards, but no super big trips or anything like that. And I don't know what the costs are going to come out to at this point. However, I'm not doing anything that I think is going to be super expensive or cause me to totally drain that account. $70 towards Teachers Talk Money stuff, $360 for paying myself over the summer so that I can live without having to work, $177 to grad school, this is the cost of 1-3 credit course where I take most of my courses. I currently don't have anything allocated for my car fund although I do need to sort of focus on refunding that. So potentially um, when I see the actual amounts for that, those raises that I'll be getting, my car fund will probably be the thing that is impacted the most. And then $70 towards Hattie's needs. So in total, my fixed costs amount to $1,056. 
my variable costs amount to $739 and my savings amount to $857. Something that I kind of mean to say every <laughs> budget update but forget often because I mention it in other videos is that the number that's reflected in these paychecks is after all my deductions. So it's after 7% goes into my pension and 17% goes into my 457. And of course, all the taxes and um, health insurance and other deductions are taken out. So while you only see savings represented here, I am also investing. I'm just doing that month to month through it coming directly out of my paycheck. So none of that is actually represented in this. This is just what I consider like my spending and saving for the month. And as you can see, all my totals for all three categories amount to exactly the same number of the expected income. So I look forward to adjusting this as I actually see what my new take home pay will be. And I will have to adjust the numbers in my notes as well because currently I have the amount of money that's being taken out of my paycheck for my investments in my uh, 457 as well as through my pension which these numbers are going to change obviously when my income increases so these will raise slightly and um, the actual money that I take home and will be able to spend or save will raise slightly as well as you can see here um, my running total for my Roth IRA is nothing I'll just add in a big bad zero so far I'm going to fund that with my tax refunds as well as my stipends for my year-long positions with the newspaper and as a coach at my school. And I think that is everything. I think it's basically the same as January, so I'm sorry I don't have any exciting updates, but stay tuned until March when my income will actually change and we'll be able to play around with those numbers a bit. So that is that. I hope you all have an amazing week, an amazing month of February. Please make sure that you are keeping on top of your budget and your money as well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.